Hello everyone, my name is Trevor, I go by the Mr. Trails, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I've got the meta leveling Terra builds for you guys. These are the Terra builds that I would be using if I were going to speed through some reforges in Escalation 1-13, to Escalation 10-50, to and the Hunting Grounds. This time, I'm going to show you a couple of different ways that you can build the same perk summary between a couple of these different weapons, and I'll be giving you some updated suggestions when it comes to the no-tonic variations of these builds. Consider leaving a like if you enjoy, and if you enjoy Dauntless and are not subscribed already, consider subscribing to the channel. I post Dauntless content here every week. And if you aren't aware, right now there is a Hunt Pass giveaway for three winners going on in the Discord server. The link is in the description. So, for our Terra builds, our best general looking perk summary for a few of the weapons is going to be 6 Berserker, 6 Catalyst, 6 Cunning, 6 Predator, 6 Overpower, 3 Adrenaline, and 3 of the built-in perk on the weapon. When it comes to the meta and going with the most DPS option, the Karabakh Weapon Bond is going to be what is used for the Terra weapons. There's a heavy misconception that the Koshai weapons are good as Terra weapons, but that information is pretty ancient as this was before the Karabakh unique effect existed and Tenacious slash Galvanized didn't exist either. The only reason to run a Koshai weapon now is if you're specifically looking to one-shot things. And since you can't do that to every behemoth in every situation, Situation, we're going to run the Karabakh. On our Karabakh weapons is going to be 3 Blade Storm or 3 Deconstruction for the Axe and Hammer. Neither of these are particularly good perks, but they are required to be on our build. As for the rest of the perks, Berserker and Predator will give us 35% damage each, Cunning is going to give us crit chance as well as extra crit damage, Catalyst is going to be used with the Blitz and Frenzy tonics to give us damage and attack speed, along with another effect of a third tonic. Overpower is going to give us 40% damage when we can keep the behemoth on the ground, and the 3 adrenaline is going to give us an average damage increase somewhere in the neighborhood of 12%. With the current meta builds, we're going to be using the Discipline Omni Cell as the Bastion and Iceborne Omni Cells are not quite as damage output focused. So first up here is going to be our build for Strikers, Hammer, and Chain Blades. We'll be using the Agoras weapon. For Strikers, we're going to be using the Titan's Crash special with Cyclonic Strike Plate as the mod. For Hammer, we're going to use Mighty Landbreaker and Extended Clip, and for Chain Blades, we're going to use Reaper's Dance with Serrated Blades. Inside the weapon, we're going to have Overpower and Catalyst, and as mentioned, we're going to use the Karabakh Bond for that weapon. We'll be running the Discipline Omni Cell, and it's going to be your choice of Lantern having a Catalyst inside. For the armor, we've got the Time Weave Helm with Berserker inside, the Thrax Chest with Adrenaline inside, the Time Weave Gloves with Predator inside, and the Thrax Boots with Berserker inside. For Time Tonics will go with the Blitz, Frenzy, and Aether Drive Tonics. So let's go over a tweak that you can make to this version of the build that you can't make on the other version of this build. I made it so my second catalyst was in the weapon, because if you don't want to use tonics, then I would recommend you only use plus three of your utility cell. And the utility cell I'm going to suggest for you guys is Zeal, as it will be more consistently better than Etheric Attunement, even though Etheric Attunement in some cases can be better. So we'll go ahead and change the catalyst in our lantern to a zeal, and then we can change the catalyst in the weapon to whatever we want. But you'll probably want to go with an assassin's frenzy here. But there's another way to make the catalyst build. You just can't change the catalyst on the weapon to something else. But these parts are slightly easier to get. It's going with the agorist weapon with overpower and adrenaline inside, with the Karabakh bond, the discipline omni cell with your lantern choice and catalyst, and the armors are going to be the Shroud Helmet with Overpower, the Thrax Chest with Berserker, the Malkarian Gloves with Berserker, and the Koshai Boots with Catalyst. And you'll see that our initial build is the same perk summary. Next up we're going to do Sword, and it's only going to have a slight change from the previous build. Instead of the Adrenaline, we're going to slide in Assassin's Frenzy, but otherwise the build will stay the same. Due to the main Sword mod being Recursive Hilt, which restores stamina upon a use, conflicts with running Adrenaline effect something I failed to consider in my Blaze Weapons video. So we'll rock the Agoras Sword with Overpower and Berserker inside, with Avenging Overdrive as the special, Recursive Hilt as the mod, and the Karabakh Sword Bond. And we have the Discipline Omni Cell with your choice of Lantern with Catalyst inside. And you can build this with either of the previous armor sets I've used, but let's go over the Shroud Helmet with Overpower, the Thrax Chest with Assassin's Frenzy, the Malkarian Gloves with Berserker, and the Kosh 
Fluxi boots with Catalyst. For tonics, again, I would recommend the Blitz, Frenzy, and Aether Drive. This sword has an alternative option of Energized as its utility cell, but Zeal is going to be the main one we use. Moving on to Axe now, and Berserker is hard to make use of on the Axe due to the charging mechanic, but the charging mechanic makes it very easy to make use of Adrenaline. So we'll swap Berserker to Adrenaline, and the extra slot that we have will be for an Assassin's Frenzy. And we'll go with the alternative armor set on this one. We'll be running the Agoras Axe with Overpower and Catalyst inside, using the Grim Onslaught Special, the Overcharged Cylinder Mod, and the Karabak Axe Bond. We are once again using the Discipline Omni Cell, and it'll be your choice of Lantern with Catalyst inside. For the armor, we have the Time Weave Helmet with Assassin's Frenzy inside, the Thrax Chest with Adrenaline inside, the Time Weave Gloves with Predator inside, and the Thrax Boots with Adrenaline inside. The tonics are again Blitz, Frenzy, and Aether Drive or Assault. Our perk summary on the Axe build comes out to 6 Adrenaline, 6 Catalyst, 6 Cunning, 6 Overpower, 6 Predator, 3 Assassin's Frenzy, and 3 Deconstruction. Moving on to our Pike build, we have no need for Adrenaline, and Savagery is going to be our main priority, so much so that we're taking out one of the Overpowers for it. This will give us the Agoras Pike with Catalyst and Overpower inside. The special is up to preference, but the Savage Wellspring special is particularly good in Discipline builds now, especially when playing in a group. We'll use the Munitions Amplifier mod and running the Karabak Warpike Bond. We're using the Discipline Omni Cell, and it'll be your choice of Lantern with Catalyst inside. The Warpike also has additional ways that it can make its build as well. So for the armor, we're going to go with the Time Weave Helmet with Berserker inside, the Quill Shot Chest with Savagery inside, the Malkarian Gloves with Cunning inside, and the Thrax Feet with Berserker inside. For tonics, I would use the Blitz, Frenzy, and Insight tonics. And this means our Pike has a perk summary of 6 Berserkers, 6 Catalyst, 6 Cunning, 6 Predator, 6 Savagery, 3 Bladestorm, and 3 Overpower. And finally for the Repeaters, once again, if you are from the future, the repeaters are going to have changes made to them that are not yet in the game. For the repeaters, we're going to be going with the same perk summary as the Blades Builds video, as the only thing that needs to change is the barrel, and you have the same build on another element. But here, I'm going to show an alternative way to make this same build from the Blaze Builds. We'll be taking the repeaters with Berserker and any mobility cell inside, and to be a tarot weapon, we'll rock the Animus or Sylvan barrels. You can use your choice of chamber, I prefer the marksman for quicker part breaking and extra damage boost against broken parts. The captain's grip is the way to go, and you can run the precision sights, lucky magazine, or tactician magazine mods. And then the frostbite prism is the general way to go for repeaters. And once again, we're using the discipline omni cell, and I recommend the broadsides lantern for repeaters, and we'll put a catalyst inside. For the armor, we have the time weave helmet with assassin's frenzy inside, the kosha chest with Catalyst inside, the Time Weave gloves with Berserker inside, and the Thrax boots with Cunning inside. And I recommend the Blitz, Frenzy, and Aether Drive tonics for repeaters. And this will give us a perk summary of 6 Berserkers, 6 Catalyst, 6 Cunning, 6 Predator, 3 Assassin's Frenzy, 3 Overpower, and whatever mobility cell you used. But that is going to do it for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and once again, if you enjoyed Dauntless and are not subscribed already, consider subscribing to the channel. I post Dauntless content here every week and right now it's every day and again there's a hunt pass giveaway going on in the discord server right now the link is in the description i have been trevor i go by the mr trails and i will catch you guys next time